Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, <laughs> they confirmed something I said uh, about two days ago. I think I said it yesterday as well. And that is the Israeli, the Israeli army will, don't, will not give a fuck about the hostages Hamas has. I said this on two occasions on two different videos. You can watch my videos from yesterday and the day before. Uh, and I said the Israeli were flattened um, Gaza uh, or will push everybody outside of Gaza. Gaza is going to be inhabited. It's going to be a, a, just a mountain of rubble and they will not really care about uh, the... they will not negotiate with Hamas. They will just kill everything they find over there and so be it. So the 100 poor, uh, I would say, hostages, hostages will not be uh, uh, exchanged. Uh, the Israeli will just go ahead and them up and that's exactly what Henry Kissinger says uh, great minds uh, think um, alike <laughs> uh, no that's not a uh, uh, how should I put it uh, uh, I can't remember how the fuck that is anyway uh, let's move to this article here from um, um, Business Insider and see what uh, Kissinger says now here it is, Business Insider. Now Kissinger is 100 years old, he's Jewish, born in Germany, immigrated, I think during the sec uh, Second World War or after or before in that area with his brother and his parents from Germany. So Israel can't yield to Hamas threats to kill hostages, says Henry Kissinger. And I was waiting, I said, okay, so what's your alternative? You can't yield, what are you gonna do? In the entire article, I read it. We can go obviously and read it. He does not bring a solution. He just gives examples why uh, Israel should not yield and gives all kinds of examples. Pop, 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 pop. But he's not going to say, what's the option then? The option is self understood. That is, so here is the guy. Now, between you and I, with age, we lose certain kind of functions. So, I'm not sure, sure that, uh, um, anyway. So, Henry Kissinger said that Israel should not give in to Hamas threats to hostages. Hamas recently said it would kill hostages if Israel strikes Gaza homes without warning. Hamas actions, he said, are evidence that the group wants to mobilize the Arab world against Israel. Former U.S. Secretary of State Henry Kissinger said that Israel cannot give in to Hamas threats to kill Israel hostages again, but called in a heartbreaking decision for any leader to have to make so he can do it but a heartbreaking decision what do you think that is that he stops short of saying because he's not in power he can't say anything so all this right here all the article not those guys over there all this article that is right here you can go and read it he's not saying it says about war 1973 blah 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 president uh, Assad and they give us all kind of uh, that's it uh, examples and all that but he's not gonna say but he said you can't give in that means you, you you're not gonna negotiate you it's say what was the word expression um, heartbreaking decision for any leader to have to make so basically you can't that means what's the option uh, obviously if you say there is a uh, setting them free somehow with some commandos you get uh, what's his name uh, Otto, how is uh, Otto, not Scorsese, <laughs> Jesus Christ, not Scorsese, uh, Scar Scar Jesus, I always have a problem remembering Otto, I always have a problem remembering Otto Scorzeni, this guy right here, <laughs> this guy right here, why don't you call him, getting, uh, dug him out from his grave in Spain, I don't know if he was, uh, repatriate or not but i know he was initially uh buried in spain with all the military honors as what he was you can see what he's got around his neck right so yeah he was uh that the most feared feared uh commando in europe during the second world war after he saved um what's his name mussolini from that little uh, mountain uh, hotel if you remember with those two gliders Look into that fantastic uh, thing that he did with his Germans, his troops. And he tried to uh, fight in Ardennes uh, and he tried to uh, infiltrate the American troops 
and uh, he could not turn everything around. But anyway, uh, why don't you call this guy uh, and try to save the? Because he de make deal. He dealt with Mossad as well. So this guy, right here, he uh, <laughs> strange. I'm just gonna tell you a little bit story. Uh, a, a little story about this guy. So he was a. I think it was a general at one point, didn't wasn't he, general? SS lieutenant colonel. That's it. Uh, okay. So he was uh, okay. So he was a colonel. I thought he was. A, I didn't get. Oh, he Benito Mussolini from captivity. So anyway, hey, <laughs> maybe I can show you too. How about that? <laughs> so anyway, um, this guy. Um, was captured? No, he didn't. Was not captured. He gave uh, turned himself in to the Brits, or the Americans. I can remember. And then he was, he was, he was saved from captivity. So he was in a cell, and some people dressed in uh, military clothes uh, took him out of his cell. And they, 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 under everybody's nose, he got out. Uh, he, they flew him to uh, eventually to Argentina. He stayed in Argentina. He also, mm, 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 Eva Peron, uh, yeah, the one that is embalmed by, embalmed by uh, what's his name, Mr. Peron. I can remember Juan Peron, right? Remember that one? So he, mm, 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 mm. I mean, she did a lot of mm, 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 with a lot of mm, 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 supposedly with Trotsky. Uh, anyway, not that she was a beauty in my eyes, but he definitely was. <laughs> Mr. Bronstein, was his name Bronstein? Bronstein? Yeah, he was Jew as well. Anyway, the Russian uh, Bronstein. So uh, he he then he organized. He was hired by different services, including the Israelis, to uh, commit all kind of uh, <coughs> activities, like he used to do. Uh, you can watch there are some interviews online with him on YouTube. Uh, very interesting guy. Very interesting guy and very. Well, he's got this scar here from his, I can't remember how you call it. Uh, they used to have the Germans, um, they were training with uh, swords, I don't know, swords, I can't remember how they call now, but you look into it. And uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of um, German officers had uh, marks because they didn't have protection and they were just dueling. It was uh, in, I think, in military or in, in, in school, they were doing this. I can't remember exactly, but anyway, he's got that scar over there. A scar over there. Let me just show that to you. You see it all, all over his face, on his left cheek, right here. All that is a big freaking cut over there. I can't remember how it's called, and I'm not gonna look. Please, you do. I just gave you the. I just got the ball up in the air. You can. Okay, down. All right, my friends. So it is. Now you know, uh, again, uh, this guy confirmed they will not do it. And actually, what are they going to do? Because uh, Hamas thought that they're going to get, what, 1,000 uh, uh, Palestinian prisoners uh, located in Israel? That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.